Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this split screen, random images effect inside of After Effects. It's a pretty trendy effect right now, and I'm pretty sure you have seen it before as well, because literally everyone using it. So without wasting any more time, let's just get into After Effects and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, you can see I pull up this like Playboy Cardi clip right here. And in my composition, you can see we have a marker right here that indicates where I want to like start the effect so i want to start my effect right over here for you it might be something like a bass hit like a 808 hit on your song or something similar that you can add like six and to like make that cool transition for me it will be this so right here i'm just gonna split my layer by hitting ctrl shift d on my keyboard and just right click go over to where it says pre-comp and just pre-comp my clip right here move all attributes and make sure to check this off right here and just hit ok and in this comp we're gonna add or effect called time warp right here real quick and in speed just set it to like 20 so now if i play through you can see we have that like cool slow-mo going on if you have like watching me from a while and my editing style i really love to add like slow moves and stuff where our like actual effect comes so it like really like emphasize the visuals that we are doing so it's a great way and a really like a pro tip for y'all as well before going further into the video i just want to let you guys know about the christmas sale going on my side it's a buy one get one free sale so if you buy one pack you'll get one for completely free like 100 percent free and you can do this as much time as you want so you can add two packs in your card and get that one for free or you can add six packs to your card and get three for free this sale you can cop like my best selling essential fx with any other pack that you want like some 3d title and stuff so i highly recommend taking advantage of the sale because i don't do this type of sale usually i do this type of sale once in a year so just take advantage of that but let's just get back into the video but now in here we gotta import all of our like images and stuff we want to like flash through so for that you can just go over to your browser right here and search up anything you like for me i searched up money of course got all of these images right here in the images section on your browser and you can just download some of the good ones and just put it on a folder like this you can see i have five of those downloaded straight from my browser so you can see all of these so just download five of those you can do more as well but i just like to loop out like those five of those images so i'm just gonna close this browser right here and import all of these images from my file explorer to my after effects real quick so right there you can see all of these are imported and also one thing you can do is make a new folder on your comp and just name it like images and select all of the images if you remember so all of these and just drag it in there uh, images right there so everything is organized as you can see five of our images is on there ready to go so you can see all of these images but now we're gonna select all of those five of those images and just drag it on my comp right there you can see you can see simply right there we have all of our images right here and now you can go through one by one and, and just fit the scale to your composition size so if i hide all of these you can see this one is like really small so i'm just gonna scale it up so something around here so it like fits my comp size you can enable the another one and do the same thing scale it up i enable the another one this is perfect uh, scale this one and this one is perfect as well so right there if i go through you can see all of these images are perfectly like matching my comp now so that's exactly what we want now we're gonna select all of these five of our images and just like trim it at the start right where your slow mo slash fx starts and go like one frame forward by hitting paste down in your keyboard paste down and just trim the axis right here if you don't know how to trim it is just like your bracket in key and out key on your keyboard so you can use those to like trim out really quickly and now all you gotta do is select your images and just make like a staircase so something like this as you can see a simple staircase of all of your layer and now if you play through you can see we have the flickering image going on that easily and of course it is short because we haven't made the loop yet so to make that loop just select five of your images again and now you can right click pre-comp right here and you can duplicate this and make a staircase of the pre-comp again until where you want like the image to end so around like here you can trim the end right there and now if you play through you can see all of these like images flashing through our screen and it is like perfectly looped out as well so now we're gonna select all of our pre-comp and just pre-comp it again pre-comp it again right there so it is on a new like layer 
like a new single layer that we can reference on then now we're gonna hide this and go back to our slow-mo clip again and now we can start the positioning of our clip and our images so for that a helpful tool i like to use is if i go into this drop down right here you can select one called proportional grid right here take that right there proportional grid and it will bring up all this like proportional grid onto your like layer right there then now of course to make the split screen i'm just gonna select my clip and just slide it on the right side or uh, left side actually my bad and now after that just pre-comp this real quick pre-comp and hit q in your keyboard to bring up your rectangle tool and just trim the half of it according to the grid so just the half as you can see it is according to the grid maybe i'm gonna slide it in right there yeah that looks cool right there look you can see we have a perfect split screen going on now actually you can select your pre-comp and enable that the money layer right there and now to put it on the split screen all you gotta do is slide it down before like your original clip and if you play through you can see we have the flicker and the split screen going on but i can straight up notice that our like the images aren't like center up so to fix that you can just also like slide it in right there and you can see it is like pretty centered up and looks cool right there so that right there we have the images and the flicker going on of the images and the split screen as well now we can actually start adding the sauce so firstly what i like to do is set my pre-comp the money pre-comp right there and just add a hue and saturation in there and just lower down the saturation to zero so the color doesn't like flicker through if we do like colors and stuff it will probably like look messy because the color won't match and it won't look that perfect so just like remove the colors from it it will look a little cooler one thing you can also do is go into this pre-comp right here and select all of these pre-comps that the loop we made and just pre-comp it again on inside the pre-comp and if you have a plugin called rsmb we can add that to add some like motion blur because it will make it look a little smoother make the blur amount 200 and now if you play through you can see we have the flickering images going on maybe one is too much so 0.5 yeah that looks cool right there and you can also select your original clip and add a hue and saturation in there as well and just lower down the saturation slightly so it doesn't really like pops off as well so now after that if i play through you can see the transition between our effect and our original clip is too hard so just to smooth it out i would like to use a little effect i'll actually be using my own preset pack for it i'm just gonna right click on a blank space go over to new and just make a new adjustment layer go to animation presets go over to user presets and in essential effects right here i'm gonna open this up and in assume best wiggle right here we're just gonna add that to our clip and just trim the adjustment layer to where we want the effect to start so right there and that easily if i play through now you can see we have this like crazy wiggle with all the distortion going on of course you can make it yourself if you don't have my preset pack but my essential effects really saves time as you can see if i gone through and made this effect from scratch it will probably take me around like 15 minutes every time to like perfect out this effect but in my preset pack this is ready to go like drag and drop with bunch of other effects so you can check out essential effect down below i'll link it in the description if you are interested and you can just copy it off my side but anyways you can take this effect a little further by going to your pre-comp this money pre-comp right here and just bring up your scale by hitting s and what you can do is like unlock your scale right here and just squeeze your layer a little bit because i think that will make it a little cooler a little like the brain rot kind of effect you can say so that right there looks hard now you can add another adjustment layer right here and trim it to the effect size and if you have sapphire warp chroma you can add that warp chroma right here and just bring up the g dist a little bit so nothing too crazy around like here so we have like a color displacement going on i guess that looks really hard you can even hit the stopwatch in the g dist and go a bit further and just bring it up so it like goes up as it goes so around like there maybe something right there yeah i guess that looks cool right there then now to top it all off you can add another adjustment layer right here and just trim it to the layer size and i firstly like to add a 
little curves in here and just simply lower down the shadows and bring up the highlights a little bit so we get that like the brain rot kind of like effect going on maybe something right there you can see that looks hard for sure doing that and at the end you can even add like an exposure so it like loops out so exposure hit the stopwatch and as it goes to the end you can just like bring it up so it would be a great transition and it will also look like a loop so with that right there i guess we are done and our final result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can check out my digital store i got a christmas sale going on right there so if you buy one pack you will get one for free so you can cop like essential fx and get my 3d title pack for free or any other so yeah i'm gonna see you on the next one peace